So when we started as a distributor, uh, we didn't have much to say in terms of, like, so we were licensing um, publishers or developers' content, usually publishers. And then, you know, we had a certain degree of freedom. Initially, when the, when the market was very wild, we had a lot of freedom. Then they were taking bits and pieces of this freedom away, so, and, and creativity as well. Um, so we could decide on the cast, we could localize the way we wanted, uh, sometimes even, you know, prepare our own concepts for the marketing campaigns. Um, but uh, um, we never had a real say with regards to the copy production. And they were experimenting with different things. So, so did we, in a way. We were putting it uh, out there, we were releasing the game. And we learned one thing. Copy protections do not work. And actually, um, especially um, probably it was 10 years ago, when the internet started growing big time, y you could see how much it doesn't work on the, uh, uh, how much the whole DRM concept is flawed on, on a global scale. Because every single game that's being released was cracked day one. And then the copy protections, like for example, Star Force was so intrusive that it was slowing down your machine, so you had worse performance on the legal version that you had on the pirate, in comparison to the pirated one. And so this again was a lesson learned the hard way. And uh, we as gamers thought, okay, we will never be able to force people to buy games. I think it really does sound crazy, but. Uh, Mm, it's like forcing people to buy movies. You know, movies are pirated. There's no copy protection. Yeah? But still, people go and watch them in, in the cinema. Are they going to watch the movies or, or watch them on, on a streaming? Um, because you will force them into that? No, it's because they want to. So it's always the carrot, not the stick. And that's what we are applying in practice with our approach. And yeah, is which are pirated? Yes, of course. It was there in three day one. Uh, did we sell a lot? Yes, we sold a hell of a lot. So, where is the problem? I really don't see the problem. Would it be cracked? Yes, it would be cracked. The copy protection, yes, okay, maybe it cannot tiny bit to, uh, to your sales, if, if anything, but it's really not the way to go. Like, the, the best copy protection, and again, I remember it from our distribution times, when with Diablo 2, Blizzard released Battle.net. This is the best copy protection. Give them community. Give them a reason why to own the legal game. I think that that's the success of FIFA, yeah? I mean, if you're a fan of FIFA, you spend a lot of money on the microtransactions because you want to have it. It's, 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 it's the positive drive. It's not that you have, you, you have to have it because they are forcing you to have it. It's, it, it's never this way. So I think th this is changing and, and, and the online aspect, it's pretty much um, closing the discussion on DRM because I don't know, 10 years down the line, we'll not know what DRM is. Everything will be cloud-based online and whatnot. But yeah, we, we are very much against this kind of approach and, and, and it's um, one of the core, core values we have at the company that you know, we treat gamers with respect, so we trust them. And actually, I saw it a lot of times um, under, in, in the comment section um, under articles or our, our PR bits or reviews or previews is that people were, especially when we were talking about DRM and pirates, people were saying, okay, I honestly, I pirated Witcher 2, I pirated Witcher 1, but then when it was cheaper, I actually bought it because I think these guys uh, are doing a good job. So, okay, maybe it's a fraction, but still, if we can get people to, 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 to think positively and think that, you know, they appreciate the, you know, appreciate, the, appreciate the game so much because it has so much value. So they will, they will go and buy it, even for $5, that, that, that's fine. Maybe they were not able to afford it before. It, for me, it makes perfect sense because then they are becoming our funds. And the last thing I want to say here is that I really love when our community is bashing pirates. That's like, there's, <laughs> there's a thread and, and someone says, where can I download the pirated Wild Hunt? And they're like, Hey man, that's the one game you should buy. Stop this discussion. Get out of here right now. That's you know, I love them for it. <laughs>